Hey you, are you watching my videos again? Pause that and do something for your akhirah first. Slamna is establishing a Scandinavian mega mosque and dawah center in Oslo, the fastest growing city in Europe. Do you want to share on that reward? Click the link below and donate now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you guys doing? You guys might have seen the video of uh, me outside of the Oslo parliament doing some protest action, calling and demanding for the rights of the Palestinian people to be respected. Now, this is part of the broader Muslim civil rights projects that uh, here in Islamnet and throughout Europe in the Western English speaking world, we are partaking in. So I'm here with Fahad Qureshi from Islamnet, an individual who needs no introduction at all, who's also been partaking in his own protest action and activism on behalf of the Muslim community and Islam that, um, how are you doing, Fahad? Good, alhamdulillah. So. Alhamdulillah, good to see you again. Fahad, tell us more about some of the things you've been doing in the Norwegian language. We've seen uh, the Islamophobic political parties and politicians for quite a long time now trying to subjugate Muslims and take away our rights to practice our faith. And they've tried to introduce multiple laws to do such such as yani, banning the niqab uh, in, in, in the school system. And now they're also, also trying to ban the hijab. So what have we done? We actually, before the elections in Norway, the last elections, that were just a few months ago, we had categorized a list of approximately 45 different cases that mm. the Norwegian politicians had spoken about in the, in the past years. So it, it was, you know, if it was you know, niqab, hijab, hijab in the police uniform, praying at schools, and all kinds of issues relating to Islam and Muslims. Mm -hmm. and, we, and we categorized every single political party, yes. what are their stances on, on these issues. And then we actually contacted the political parties and said, look, we have given you grades, points, based upon your stances on this Muslim related issues. Did they take it seriously? They did take it very wow. seriously. Uh, many of, we wow. Many of we arranged a big debate here. We, we, we and they and they came and they defended themselves. Really, bro? Yeah, well, like you and it, this this I this mean, was that is, phenomenal. No, let me tell you something, yeah. bro. I mean, this is why information sharing and note taking and is so important because this is a model now which can and should be used throughout the Western world, I think. If I it's, agree. If it's effective here. Have you seen good effect with this? So the, the effect of this whole thing, so th there was one political party, a, a, a new political party yeah. actually, that was recently established and they were calling for the ban of uh, burning the Qur'an. Mm. And after seeing this guy, Lars Thorsen, yes. burning the Qur'an and no, none of the political parties were actually taking that seriously and they were saying it is, he should be allowed to do so. So one political party said, no, we should find a way within the law, within the framework we already have, to categorize this as hate speech, as a hate crime. And they gained a lot of support because of us promoting that. And they were actually the one specific political party who actually said, okay, we, we support the establishment of this specific center, while some other political parties have said, no, we don't want this uh, in Oslo. So what we did, we categorized all of the stances, we gave the numbers and we, and we showed the Muslims, we mobilized across uh, the country. You endorse one particular group? We we didn't endorse a particular group. But, but you just showed them what the numbers yes, are? Yes, we just gave them the, the facts. Wow. So in this 45 case, because for us, it doesn't matter if you if it's, uh, if it's the, the party is this or that or that. It doesn't matter. This the is, only this thing is that brilliant. matters to us. This is brilliant. Exactly. It's a pioneering yeah. move, bro. Did you think of this yourself? Yes, actually, yes. I have to say, it's one of the master strokes and one of the most pioneering moves I've seen in terms of Muslim organizations in the entire Western world and I've been around. And I do think it's, it's, it's replicable and I think we should Absolutely. replicate something like that all over the Western world. Uh, definitely we will put your, your trademark on it. Calm down, calm down, calm down. It's just a break. I'm reminding you that when you are finished watching the video, huh? that you click the link below and donate now. And has it been to good effect? Have, there, have you seen respect from these people because of it? Yes, uh, and first, in the, when, when we first did that, mm. some of the politicians were trying to undermine it. Yeah, it's not important, it's this and that. But at the end of the day, when they actually saw that over 3,000 votes were given to that political party based upon our mobilization, and uh, speaking with the Masajid, getting everyone mm -hmm, along mm -hmm. and he, on, on the project, and then after that happened, then 
يعني the, the, the jealous people yeah. the jealous people they started to bombard us with critic uh, look at this look at this political party it's been endorsed by islam that is and islam that is is, is, is endorsing muhammad hijab والله <laughs> <laughs> they said that you know I, i had to go on national television yes just to you know, defend myself associating with muhammad hijab yes <laughs> All you've got to say to them is, listen, if it wasn't for this guy, we wouldn't probably even have a center. So I would not mess about with this guy. <laughs> Most of the fun in the center come from his followers. So you mess around with him, you're finished and I'm finished. <laughs> you want me to say something bad about this guy? My God. So, no, but honestly, what a fantastic, brilliant move. And Alhamdulillah. is a website that you have. That yes. So we made a, a, a website called, you know, in, if you translate it, Muslims Votes. Yes. So, Muslim uh, Ristamir, it was called that in, in the Norwegian wow. language. Is it still up? It's still up. <laughs> uh, and we can show a clip for, from that as well. I, I would love to, bro. Yeah, yeah. Inshallah. Amazing. So, so, I would actually recommend everyone who is active in is, uh, any Islamic activists, Muslim yes. activists, in, in all across Europe to actually replicate this specific project. Well, like it will commission? help you. You're going to get it, commission from this? <laughs> maybe I should. Maybe I should, yeah. What do you think? Yeah? I like it. Yeah? <laughs> I, should, I should get the commission. <laughs> Bro, uh, honestly, guys, this is exactly, when we say civil rights, we're, this is not just like lip service. Yes. This is on the ground work, which has implications, practical, applicable implications on the Muslim world. And as I say, if it works in one place, we replicate it in another. I'm sure many people will be listening to this. I'm pretty sure many people are already drafting plans to do what you've talked about. But tell us about this center and your organizations, because you said now you've got a Muslim civil rights wing effectively. Can they? Can these people get involved by donating? Yes. By funding this place? Absolutely. Can they? Tell us what, to, what they can do. So my brothers and sisters, mm. if you keep on your support yes. and you if you actually if and if you are willing to become one of the loyalists of yes. Islam that yeah. and become a regular donor who can you know, be active in supporting this cause because the best thing is the regular one let's be honest Wallahi. it's the regular Wallahi. one it's the monthly one yes yes yes, it is. yes. because you know, if you want to cause Uh, and create real change, change yeah, yeah. you cannot just uh, you know, depend on one, one guy giving a one-off no. donation and, and that's true. you need to have loyal, be loyal. supporters no, it has to be. Who, who believes in the mission, believes yeah. in the vision well, these guys and have we are like, going to establish to say, Islam in the West. A lot of them have like Netflix and stuff and they don't even realize it's really yeah, one, they yeah. don't watch anything. Like, stuff for Allah, some of them even have the ones that they, uh, the Zionist ones, you know, the ones that are, <laughs> <laughs> and, some, and some idea for shooting so someone. True, like, want, so at least, I mean, and yeah, Alhamdulillah, <laughs> you're funding the bullets to the IDF, some of you, not all of you, how much of my life, more of you, don't do it. But I'm saying, now you can amend your ways. Yes. Okay. Now you have a time to resolve your situation and rectify yourself by clicking the link below. And I'm sure they're doing it now, bro. They're clicking yeah. the link as we speak. Yes. They said, you know, if we've heard enough, this is right. I'm going to click the link and they're clicking the link. And now they're already putting the details. It's done now. It's thank you for your donation. That's what it says there now for them. Uh, really? I'm pretty sure it says thank you for the donation. If it doesn't say thank you for your donation. We're already there. <laughs> Mashallah. If it's not thank you for the donation, there's a problem, actually. <laughs> there's a problem. Yes. Anyways, with that, we conclude with Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.